There is a philosophy, a moral code that guides the doctor, whichever regeneration they may be. But as each doctor is different in personality, style and humour, so is their philosophy different as well. What I mean by philosophy is how they deal with situations, how they treat people and their companions and how far they are willing to go to save the day. What makes their doctor unique amongst the myriad of incarnations of this character? The Twelfth Doctor is so interesting as his approach changes across his three seasons and as his incarnation develops so does his approach to the problems that he faces. In series 8 he is brash, short tempered and what you see is what you get. Capaldi's iteration was very drawn back and more subtle than Tennant's and Smith's often charismatic and over the top performances. He was also arrogant and at times rude but under this tough exterior was the heart of the Doctor that makes him so special. His arc in series 8 boils down to a single sentence that he asks Clara in the second episode. Am I a good man? Am I a good man? Which is actually also the title for his theme. This Doctor is far more in touch with his dark side than 10 or 11 and that makes him question himself. This dark side is very apparent in the second episode of series 8 called Into the Dalek. When the Doctor connects with the malfunctioning Dalek, he attempts to show it all the beauties of the universe, but he also reveals his intense hatred for the Daleks, and that makes the Dalek named Rusty hate them just as much as the Doctor. This shocks the Doctor. He is taken back and tells the Dalek, No, 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 you must see more than that. There must be more than that. You must see more than that. There must be more than that. In an attempt to show the Dalek the best of himself, the Doctor has also revealed the worst in himself, and that duality of his character is so interesting. Every single person has the potential for good and evil, but the fact that the Dalek singularly absorbs the Doctor's hatred scares him, so he questions Clara about the integrity of his moral character. Can he be a good man, but still inspire hate to such a degree? The Doctor's questioning of his dark side has connotations with the psychological concept of one's shadow, a theory first put forward by Carl Jung and more recently been advocated by psychologists such as Jordan Peterson. It can be boiled down to a single sentence. It is the collection of repressed aspects of our identity that Jung referred to as our shadow, and these repressed aspects are usually our darker impulses that form our shadow. For the Twelfth Doctor, his shadow is his darker impulses that sometimes lead him to go too far. We have seen glimpses of this darker side in other incarnations, and often the companion acts as a check and balance on the Doctor's actions such as Donna in The Runaway Bride or Captain Adelaide Brook in The Waters of Mars, but never before has the Doctor openly questioned himself. The Doctor's slightly utilitarian tendencies also puts him in conflict with Clara throughout Series 8, and this boils over to breaking point in Kill the Moon, when Clara fights with the Doctor over putting her in that stressful situation. On the surface, the Doctor may seem utilitarian, especially in The Mummy on the Orient Express, when he convinces Clara to lie to Maisie, telling her that she will be safe from the foretold. However, under the surface is the Doctor's heart. After he saves Maisie and everyone, Clara asks him, So you are pretending to be heartless? To which the Doctor replies, Would you like to think that about me? Would it make it easier? He explains that he didn't know if he could save Maisie, but he couldn't risk his plan being discovered by telling Clara. He ends his discussion with his justification for his actions. Sometimes the only choices you have are bad ones, but you still have to choose. This doctor is one that thinks without emotion and does his best to save everyone despite the costs. It's cool to see the doctor and his companion debate over how he deals with threats and this debate is representative of the doctor's internal dialogue, questioning himself, is he a good man? The doctor's shadow is personified in the finale by Missy, the master. The doctor and the master have always been two sides of the same coin and each is capable of fulfilling the other's roles. When the Doctor becomes the Time Lord Victorious or the Valiard, he almost becomes the same as the Master. And when Missy tries to do good in Season 10, she almost becomes the same as the Doctor. In fact, Missy's whole motivation for taking over the world is to show the Doctor that they aren't so different and that she needs her friend back. And this causes the Doctor to revert back to his question at the beginning of the season, Am I a good man? Missy's plea makes him realise that he isn't a good man, or a bad one. He's the Doctor. He travels around learning and meeting new people and wherever he can he stops and he helps. It doesn't matter if people don't see him as a good man because he isn't a hero, he's a traveller, he's the doctor. 
People aren't good or bad, but they can make good or bad choices and that's what defines them. Something that the doctor later teaches Missy in series 10. In season 9 we see a completely different side to the doctor. He's done a horrible thing and he accepts that he deserves to die. So he wants to have a party to celebrate the last days of his life. That is why he is so different in the beginning of season 9. Why he seems so silly and outlandish. This is a man at the end of his days and he wants to enjoy them. Throughout the course of season 9 we see Clara and the doctor's relationship develop and how she becomes more and more like him. We also see how far the doctor will go to save her, especially in the second two-parter, under the lake and before the flood. He decides to face the Fisher King and is prepared to change time when he thinks Clara's life is in danger. There are also hints at this obsessive relationship in series 8. When Clara betrays the doctor and throws away his TARDIS keys, he says to her, Do you think I care for you so little that that would make a difference? The doctor just moves past her betrayal because he is her best friend and it is never brought up again. This relationship is the main focus of series 9 and shows how the doctor's heart rules his head in this circumstance. In series 8, his heart was always there but ruled by a calculating mind. But after giving away his confession dial and his encounter with Davros, the doctor is shaken and his heart rules his head. When Clara is killed in Face the Raven, the doctor becomes closer to the Valleyard that we have ever seen in modern Doctor Who and he threatens me to destroy her town until Clara calms him down and he is sent to the confession dial to face his demons. The opening lines of Heaven Sent are my favourite written by Moffat. It conveys the Doctor's pain, grief and rage and really makes him seem much darker than any other iteration of the character. If you think because she's dead I'm weak then you understand very little. If you were any part of killing her and you're not afraid then you understand nothing at all. So for your own sake understand this. I am the Doctor. I'm coming to find you and I will never ever stop. In this whole episode, the Doctor deals with the grief of losing his best friend in the world. He is tortured and killed countless times, but when he escapes this prison, he finds out that his own people put him there and were responsible for Clara's death. The people that he saved and brought back, so of course he's pretty pissed off. When the Doctor decides to bring Clara back and break the laws of time, he becomes his shadow self, the hybrid. He doesn't care about the consequences of his actions, he just acts. However, Eventually he and Clara part ways and he accepts that he was wrong and he can never be like that again. In series 10, the Doctor's philosophy is a mix of his two perspectives in both series 8 and 9. His heart is more visible than it was in series 8, yet he is far more calculating and astute than he was in series 9. The crux of series 10 is the Doctor's relationship with Missy. In series 8, she represented his shadow self all the aspects of himself that he had chosen to suppress. But in series 10, she tries to change her ways and become more like the Doctor. Good. When Missy is brought back for execution, the Doctor instead imprisons her in the vault and decides to guard her and teach her to be good. Obviously, the Doctor has always been on the right side of morality since the inception of the show. But the Doctor's moral code has never been put into words. It is in this series and is repeated by the Doctor and Missy throughout. Good is only good in extremis, without hope, without witness and without reward. And that sentiment is what the Doctor wants to teach Missy. Missy questions the Doctor's stance of morality when she knows how to defeat the monks in the lie of the land and calls his stance of morality vain and sentimental, criticising him for not wanting to sacrifice Bill for the good of the earth. The Doctor will always find a way to save the day without death if it is possible and he determines that Bill will not die to defeat the monks. As the series progresses, Missy grows and evolves and accepts the terrible things that she has done and the Doctor begins to get through to her. This culminates in the Doctor's opposite, the Master, literally killing her old self and accepting the Doctor's philosophy on being good. I think that the Doctor sums up his philosophy when he confronts the Masters and gives them that compassionate speech about how he does what he does because he's trying to be kind. He is such a simple outlook on life and decides to fight the Cybermen and give his life for strangers he hardly knows because he's trying to be kind. He sacrifices himself without hope, witness or reward. And it's how he defines himself. Who I am is where I stand, and where I stand 
is where I fall. In his final episode, the 12th Doctor is depressed. He has given everything to the universe and he just wants to rest. The TARDIS disagrees and sends him on one final adventure where he meets his younger self and realises that he too has the same dilemma. He argues with him, if he doesn't go on and keep going, so many lives will be changed and lost and he can't give up. They then meet a World War I soldier and decide to save him from a mysterious alien force chasing him. Even when Doctor accepts that he must be returned to the battle, he shifts the time zone to save his life and we see the Christmas truce of World War I. The Doctor gives his reasoning for this action. Everyone everywhere is important to someone somewhere. He gives one last goodbye to his friends and decides to live on, telling his next self to above all, be kind. Capaldi's Doctor is never static and each series he changes and grows but what remains is his core ideas, kindness. I think that out of all the Doctors, 12 is the most kind and it contrasts with his dark exterior which makes his philosophy the most interesting amongst all the Doctors so far.